Hi guys, it's Silas Topsy again. Nice to meet you in our PHP lecture 5. In this lecture guys, I just want to show you how to perform this operation, which is addition, multiplication, division, modulus, and subtraction in PHP variables. So I'm going to actually dec declare two integer variables that I'm going to perform these operations. As usual, my name is displayed on the screen and my cell phone number if you need in contact me regarding anything you can still contact me on this phone on cell phone number also my email is there if you want to contact me through email i will actually quickly respond to you uh, without wasting time guys uh, let me just jump into you know when i'm writing want to write php i must open my text editor so i'm gonna quickly open notepad plus plus here which is my text editor once you are in your text editor, I think I've got the initial HTML here. I'm going to post the initial HTML code, which is this one. So what we're going to actually, what I want to demonstrate, I want to demonstrate what I wrote in this header, in this header here, which is demonstrating addition, multiplication, division, modulus, and subtraction. So when I'm writing PHP code, you all know that I, I must actually have an opening tag for PHP, which is PHP opening tag for php they've got a question mark there and the closing tag for php is like this so every code that for php code that i i i, I need to write it must be in between this tag so i'll quickly actually declare two variables two india variables and if you listen to my previous videos you should be familiar uh, by now uh, on how to declare variables you declare variable using a dollar sign so i'm gonna say dollar sign num declare my variable sign say dollar sign num what num one then i will give it a value so let me say this is equals to 50 let me declare another integer variable the second one and name it num what num two and i'll give it a value let's say 60 then once i declare my variables I need also to declare other variables where I will save my results of each and every operation. For example, the results for sum, because I need my results to be, I need my results when I run, I, I need it to be displayed in this format. Say like sum of 50 plus 60 is equals to, it's one what? 110. So all my results must be in this format for each and every operation. So for them to be like this, I need to, also declare other variables for the results let me just quickly come here so i declare the variable for sum let me the syntax for declaration let me name this variable sum and i do my operation here sum i need to say variable num1 variable num1 plus the addition symbol of, it's a plus sign plus num num2 then I, I i end with the same colon so when i add this num1 plus num2 the results are going to be saved in this variable so whenever i need the answer for this addition of these two i access the I access the results from this variable sum so i do I declare let me copy this and then paste let me paste this and paste here. Mm -hmm. Let me copy and paste here again, again, and let me change the second operation after addition, it's multiplication, so I'm going to actually change this variable to be multiplication, let me multiply, let me write it multiply, multiply now if to say num1 times num, multiplication symbol in programming it's simply this one then once i'll say this one multiplication by this one the results will be saved in this one the second third operation is division so let me just declare another variable called division here division division so division is simply represented by this symbol which is forward slash in programming language it means division which means num1 divided by num2 and the results will be saved in this variable that i declared as division the third operation in modulus modulus simply means the remainder when you divide two numbers so let me just write the remainder here remainder 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 of num1 and modulus a 
symbol it's a percent percent it simply means modulus so it simply means the remainder that i will that i will left with when i divide num1 by num2 so when you need a modulus you simply use the percent symbol it means modulus then the third operation is subtraction let me declare the variable here called subtraction subtraction then subtraction is equals to num1 you know actually the common symbol for subtraction is simply this minus sign so once i have all my results i need to declare to display my results now how do i display i want to embed my php inside the html tag so let me just write the html tag let's say h let me just use header to here and also the closing tag for that h which is header to then i close it here then my h then i want to put another tag opening tag and closing tag for php here that that will be embedded inside the my html tag so let me just put an opening tag for php inside which is php and also a closing tag for this php this one so inside these tags it's where i will write my code you know that when i want to to display something in php i have to display with an echo so i simply say echo echo then what i want to display i display it as a string so i have to write it here so i want to display in this format which i show you i have to say sum then it is equals to 50 plus num plus num1 plus num2 is equals to the result so how do i actually come up with that format i have to come here which means I have to concatenate strings. So the first string that I'm going to write is going to be sum. Then I put some semicolon and say, then I concatenate this string with a dot and say dot. I want to concatenate with what? With the variable num, which is this variable that I have here declared here, which is num1. Then I'll say num1. Then I concatenate this with a, with a, with a, a plus sign operator plus sign operator I put c plus sign in, inside here then i concatenate this one with the, the second variable which is variable num2 so i say num2 so we say num2 here it's num2 once i say num2 then num2 i need to concatenate num, my num2 with an equal sign so i put equal sign because I need it to be displayed with an equal sign, say equals to. Then equals to what? Equals to, I concatenate this equal sign with the variable, with my variable results, which is this result of what? Sum. So I simply say dollar, then I say sum. So if I say dollar sum here, so on the sum here, after I, I wrote, after I display my sum here, I need to go to the next line so I can concatenate this sum with a br. So I put also in same colon as a, as a string in B, that br. So br is an HTML tag that is simply what br that will send me to the next line. Then after that, I will close this sentence with the same colon. So I will do this. On the rest of all other operations so let me just simply copy this and paste it for other operation let me paste this uh, paste this several times so that i'll just change it on the names of operations uh, let me paste again let me paste again so the second operation here is what multiplication so i simply change this to what to multiplication 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 then multiplication of what multiplication of num1 times then here I simply remove this plus sign to what to a multiplication symbol times num2 is equals to is equals to this one times this one is gives me this mod plus so I simply change that and write that variable to the results of multiplication which is more multiply so the third operation is division so division or simply change this one let me just write division 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 then after division i'm saying division of what num1 the division operation operator is simply the forward slash then 
num1 divided by num2 is equals to gives me this one which is the division variable that i declared there so i simply change this one to division variable division then the fourth operation it's modulus so the modulus let me just say modulus 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 of num1 the modulus operation is operator is a percent so i simply put the percent here a num1 percent num2 is equals to the, the value that i got as a remainder after modulus is saved in this variable which is remainder so i simply write remainder here let me just click this so right here remainder and, and then i'll send to the next one the last but not least it's subtraction so i'll simply put subtraction here subtraction subtraction of what of num1 minus num2 so i change this operator which is minus to what which is plus two minus minus num2 is equals to num1 minus num2 is equals to the answer saved in this variable which is subtraction so i simply call that variable here which is subtraction so once i'm done all writing all this display of my information like you all know guys you, you have to go and save what save you simply come here to save as you click save as once you say save as here look for c drive you click c drive look for them you click you open this ZAMP, then look for ht docs inside this ZAMP. mine is here then in this empty job create create the new folder then give a name of your project here myself i'm gonna say prog what prog 5 once you say prog 5 you click enter then for the code file you have to give it an a, a name with a, a php extension i'll just say project here project dot php then i'll save it in in my project folder i open it then save it inside once i saved inside i have to come here guys on the search and look for the zamp control panel control panel to make sure that i'll start my apache and my sql and this pop-up dialog box will appear then i have to start this apache and i have to also click this button for my skill once i started this i can minimize this I can minimize this then i will go to my browser once i'm in, in my in my browser i have to type what localhost localhost forward slash then in name of your project which is prog prog 5 my project is prog 5 so once you run this you see the project displayed here then click it once I click it, you see my results are displayed in my format, demonstrating addition, multiplication, division, all my code are displayed nicely. And this division is having all these commas. You can change this one. If you if you want to round this one to two decimal places, you can still gonna do that. You simply have to go to a code again. Then in the code here, you use a function called round. So I want to round this division to what? You simply write around here round the function then put the opening bracket and what closing bracket here so once a printing bracket you separate the variable that you want around the comma then you write in which in how many decimal places that you want to round if i want to write in three i'll write simply write three here i will save if i save here and go and refresh my code in the browser you are you are going to see this one being rounded into three decimal places i hope guys this you enjoyed this lecture so all this operation that you are, that's how you do if you want to multiply a variable adding variables division and modulus modulus is simply meaning this number divided by this number and the remainder is the one that is displayed as 50 here and here also minus is displayed as minus 10. i hope guys you enjoyed this lecture i I hope to see you guys in our next lecture, which is lecture six. Thank you guys. Enjoy your evening. Thank you.